Today I'm going to show you how to get leverage over your one-handed backhand and stop missing it long. Let's get right into it. The first thing that you're going to do is focus on getting your shoulder higher in the backswing. Now I'm talking about the shoulder that's going to be with the hand on the throat of the racket. And this needs to be up at at least a 90 degree angle using the torso and the tricep as our angle, our indicator. If you see this angle right here, because if this drops ever so slightly, my racket face is now open and you're going to send the ball to the sky. The other thing that you need to do is keep your wrist up throughout the whole duration of the swing because watch what happens if I don't keep it up in this fixed position. We go here, we swing, we swing, and if I at this point decide to drop my wrist, it now becomes flimsy and we're going to lose all stability and control that we have over the ball and not to mention it's going to be a real tough time getting over it and getting topspin because now we have to flick our wrist back into the place that it should have been in in the first place. Now the third thing that is going to help you get leverage over the ball is use your shoulder as a lever. You do not want to swing from the lower arm on this shot. You actually want to have a very loose arm and you want to actually use your torso, your chest, and your shoulder to hit this. And we're going to boom. We always stay sideways through the shot, but we're actually flinging the arm off of our body like a lever. So just for some clarity, the arm should be tucked into your chest in the turn. And then we're going to load our hips and boom, twist the arm off our body like a lever but we're not using down here. It comes from up here. Think about it like a lumberjack going to chop a tree. Lumberjacks don't go like this, just using the arm. No, they put everything into it and boom, but they have to stop their momentum here in order to get the maximum output, okay? So make sure you do that. The fourth thing that is gonna help you keep the ball down is actually staying down with your legs while you hit the shot. You actually want to avoid popping up too early because if we pop up before contact point, we're actually losing all the energy that we've built up. So you want to make sure that, you know, you're not rising uh, before you hit the shot. It should be during or after. And this is going to play into another part that you need to do to keep the ball down and get your chest over the ball. Your body weight should be leaning over your front toe and that's kind of the sensation you're going to feel with your chest, getting your chest over the ball. You may not physically be able to get this every time but from the side it would look like this. Boom and that's my contact point. If you can see my toes are here and my head is here. If the racket's my body my toes are here, my head is here at contact. And make sure you don't drag open with the follow through. Remember to stay sideways, stay over it, and keep your follow through short. Now, the sixth thing that is possibly causing you to hit long is your grip. You shouldn't be hitting this shot with a continental grip. You should try and turn it over as much as you can and play around with it. Meaning that if you pointed your racket to the ground, your strings would be almost flat to the ground. But some people, they set it like this, like a flashlight straight up and down. And it's very hard to get topspin with this kind of grip. So from here, try adjusting it like this. And this will be the grip that you change to every time. And I think you will find much more success in getting spin and getting over the ball. The last thing that's causing you to miss your one-handed backhand long is getting too close to the ball. You need to train your brain that if the ball is anywhere inside of this contact point, here or here for example, it's over. You're screwed. You need to make sure that you get full arm extension. If your arm is ever so slightly bent, you're not going to be able to get through the ball properly and keep going. You're going to find 
resistance and you're actually probably slowing down in your follow through, which is either going to cause you to miss long or you're just going to frame it, hit short. It's not going to be that clean leverage and clarity that we're looking for on the one handed backhand. And it's not easy to get this. You know, I've practiced this shot for over 13 years. So when you go out and do this, make sure you're doing proper practice because you don't want to waste your time with the wrong technique. So make sure you go and learn it. I hope you enjoyed this video and do me a favor, like and subscribe for more educational tennis videos. Ciao. Stop. Don't let people tell you that you'll never hit the ball like a high level player just because you started tennis later in life. If you're an athletic adult, having a complete game is not rocket science. My system is fast and you can do it in your living room. You don't even need a court. The link is down below. Ciao.